<laughs> I figured that was going to happen. It's pretty chilly out here this morning. Whenever it does that, uh, it's almost always a uh, pressure issue in the tank. It'll start for two seconds and, blah, and die. And if you can rev it up and it'll run for as long as it takes for you to drop the throttle and then die again. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's moisture. Run! <laughs> Happy Friday morning to you all. It is uh, 8.10 in the morning. It's a beautiful 57 degrees out here this morning. A little humid, you know, we're right at the dew point, but uh, uh, it's going to be nice today. I think we're looking at mid-70s again today. The weather has just been fantastic since the uh, tornado rolled through here. Anywho, uh, there's a new episode of High Side, Low Side, Revzilla, uh, that dropped this morning. And I was the first one to comment, woohoo! Uh, they have Peter Egan on the show uh, for this episode, and I... Uh, I'm really looking forward to watching that. Uh, his interview starts right around 12 minutes and 30 seconds, and uh, I've been listening to it on my phone until I you know, just came out here to the bike, uh, and they're talking about his history and uh, everything. And uh, over the years, people have said that my Super Cub trips and some of my small bore stuff remind them of uh, Peter Egan's uh, adventures that they read about in you know, Road and Track and uh, his motorcycle uh, writings and stuff, the columns that he did. I could only hope to uh, aspire to his uh, greatness and heights, but uh, I do my best. Uh, I didn't do my trips because of Peter Egan's uh, stories, but I do remember reading them in uh, my teens and uh, early 20s and stuff, and uh, they, they resonated with me because I was uh, doing those sort of things, having that fun out there, moto camping on 125s and you know, crazy stuff. So that is going to be a nice watch. I'm going to enjoy... Uh, watching and listening to that episode. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm off to work again. It feels good to be getting into a routine. I gotta say that. Uh, actually getting out of the house and going somewhere to work instead of being sequestered at home. Uh, need to work out my transportation situation a little better than this. Uh, I do enjoy the Rebel, but it's not real friendly on my back and my shoulders right now. So I need to put the 500X back together this weekend if I can find the time. I might end up working uh, Saturday and or Sunday. Hopefully I can do a live stream this weekend. We'll see if that works out. Uh, Saturday Night Live and I can't see squat. The sun is bright. I got the 500 together, and uh, that should be a much more comfortable uh, commute machine. Upright seating position. Not cranked over and folded in half like this. <clears throat> High beams on. I keep getting that question. I guess people haven't seen the descriptive video uh, for the rationale for riding with the high beams on during daylight hours. It's pretty well-known survival trick for uh, any veteran motorcyclists out there and uh, it's taught in our driver's manual here in Texas uh, Oklahoma too I believe where I came from and uh, just that extra forward visibility uh, in traffic cars can see you and they're a whole lot less likely to pull out in front of you because it's something brighter that their eye can track you know it's, uh, it grabs their attention and that is the name of the game is being conspicuous in traffic. You never want to blend in. I was riding home last night in you know dusk hour, so I dropped the dropped the beams to low beam, of course. You don't want to blind or dazzle oncoming motorists or you know coming up behind them in the rear view mirror. You don't want to be too much of a nuisance. Today is a no school day. I uh, thought that was odd. We just had uh, Easter break and holiday and everything, and then now, not even a week later, we've got another three day weekend, so that's great for the kids. My littlest one was laying on the sofa watching her. Uh, YouTube kids videos and stuff like that. <laughs> I was like, aren't you going to be late for school? There's no school. Really? Oh. Shows how clueless I am. 
to look it up. Professional day. I still haven't uncorked my uh, Neotech 3, or 2 rather, no, not 3, don't want the 3. My new Neotech 2 is still sitting in the box. I need to get to that this weekend. This lid is uh, aged and old and uh, it works, but it's pretty noisy and drafty. And For the vlogging, there's a lot of cleanup I have to do in post, applying noise filters and stuff like that to get rid of all the wind noise. and undesirable content in the uh, audio besides my blathering on and uh, four letter fun words <laughs> dusty look at all the pollen on it I figured after the rain uh, we would be a lot lower in pollen but oh my god my eyes are so itchy and gummy and we're still sneezing like crazy at the house, so pollen is still in full swing, kids. Man, I would love to be just out riding this weekend. My back and neck are not up to it yet for long rides and all the stuff that I like to do, so I don't know. Maybe I can make a short destination somewhere. Go out to Stephen F. Austin or something on one of the bikes. Just get out and soak up some nature and scenery. Traffic's moving pretty good on the highway today. That's a good sign. Going to be going into a different destination this morning, a uh, different breakfast place. Uh, a couple of my buddies are uh, eating over at Rice Epicurean Cafe or something like that on uh, West Gray, so I'm going to go meet them over there. Let's see how they're doing. Be a little bit longer trek for me and less familiar traffic patterns because I don't normally go in there this time of morning so could get interesting find out yeah I was instinctively reaching up to drop my sun visor There's no sun visor gotta get that other helmet box trap for me had enough of that shit this year last year or for a year for my lifetime how about that no more for the rest of my life that would be great good old lunchbox trap meat in the metal sandwich come on people nope forward not stopping not stopping I think I've got a little bit too much chain slack on this bike. I need to work on the chain. Bring my axle back a tiny bit because I notice uh, kind of at the top of first gear, low into second gear, if I'm trundling in traffic like this, it's lurching around. A little bit too much slack in the chain, I think. Oh man, outbound I-10 is clobbered. It's awful. Imagine sitting in that, and there's no other route to go through this particular area. I-10 is it, because you get the reservoir on uh, both sides, and there are no other uh, east and west unless you go way north or south of it. But once you're trapped in that, you're trapped. You can't get off. That sucks. Yikes. 
some heck of a queue. And I don't like being stopped out here on the highway. Filter? Filter? I don't like the shoulder because it's usually full of crap. Pick up a nail or something and blow a tire. Yep, filter time. This is too dangerous. I'm not sitting out here with it stopped. There ain't no way. Too dicey. Dedicated lane, people. I don't understand what the uh, what the problem is navigating this. No, I don't think so. Get me run over from behind. Busy over here in the mornings. Roundabout means no stopping. Nobody's coming. It means you don't stop. You keep rolling. It's the whole purpose of a roundabout. It's not a stop sign. I think I'll sneak through the neighborhood today because that ain't looking fun. I don't remember exactly where the cut throughs are here, but uh, I've managed to navigate it a few times successfully. Just need to get over to Shepherd. Parkway and uh, Memorial Park area. A lot of uh, 
bike trails and outdoorsy stuff over here. I've never really been through the uh, the walking trails and bike trails over here. Even when I lived down in the uh, Galleria area, I never really came over here that much. Mainly because traffic is insane and you get killed trying to get over here on a bike. goes up top. I don't want to park up top. There's a uh, nice little parking uh, spot cheat uh, on this side of the road because the restaurant has uh, road, you know, street parking and it's really dicey to get in and out of, let alone uh, a motorcycle. It's uh, no fun. So here's the cafe right up there across the street. And here's my buddy's truck. And the River Oaks uh, Theater, I think this has been revamped and they're reopening it. I don't know if that's happened yet, but a historic theater. Uh, I've actually never been here. I'd love to visit it uh, if and when it's uh, reopened. Uh, but yeah, there's Epicure Cafe. So I've arrived. It's breakfast time. We got a lot of uh, a lot of good food here. A little bakery. Uh, delicatessen kind of place. Not bad. And this is a upscale but still very uh, theft prone neighborhood so I'm not leaving anything of value on the bike. Including locking the bike itself. There we go. This goes in with me. If they want to steal my old gloves, have at. Let's see if I can play, play Frogger. Can I? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. But wearing a uh, motorcycle crash helmet uh, trying to get across this traffic is prudent. <laughs> Need the airbag vest and everything else that goes with it. Zorb ball. Roll the Zorb across the road. Da -da 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 -da. Rice Epicure Cafe. All right. Time to take this off so I don't look like a dweebus. General Means. Got a spare chair. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my stuff over here. <laughs> 